Warriors way 20, Steve White, and rejoined by Mark the Hammer Castanini ringside after a great fight between River Daz and Joey Balon. Man, that, that was uh, at least 180 beats per minute at the, the metronome. As uh, we get set for action here, Brody Stolder in the red trunks. He's up against Nice Sinby in the blue trunks. Five by three minute rounds, full tie rules in effect at 57 kilos. Well, just give me a moment to settle there, <laughs> Stephen. Um, <laughs> I see you were excited in the corner there, mate. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, yeah, Joey, uh, giving us a scare in that first round. Just a big hit, of course, a, a king of the ring champion and a world champion in his own right, Balon. A big step up and uh, he's much more experienced than River and he showed uh, he was never out of it. Even though when he thought you, when you think he was done, he was still there, Joey. And geez, he packs a lot of power for a little man, Balon. A big thanks to Joey and, of course, Jason Sooty from ETK in New Zealand for uh, for being a part of Warriors Way. New Zealand boys always come to fight, and this is why I keep bringing them over, because they keep being crowd pleasers. Absolutely. That was uh, the fight of the night. But right now, Nice Simbi and Brody Stolder. Nice Simbi, 451 fights to his name. Brody Stolder, 78 fights to his name. 70, uh, 78. So you're looking at... Nearly 600 fights experienced between these two gentlemen. Yeah, well over 500 fights. What fight sport do you see two athletes in a single fight have over 500 fights? Yeah. I ask you that. Not MMA, not boxing. You won't see it. Muay Thai, of course, with the, the ties. Uh, in, in particular, they're fighting from a very young age in uh, you know the county fairs and festivals. They come through... Uh, of course, Thai boxing, because the heads don't take uh, as much punishment, it's more about the, the kicking and the clinching and the knee. Um, they're, they're preserved a lot longer, I suppose, and they started at such a young age. So they're just, uh, yeah, they're, they're fine athletes, just uh, just made of iron. If you grapple one of these ties, uh, like Nice Simbi, you, you, it's like just grabbing onto a power pole. It's so hard and so rigid. Second fight against a Thai fighter this year for Brody Stoll. The last one was against, it's a close decision loss to Jen Hongthun like at Rebellion in May of this year. So so back to back in terms of the Thai fighters but Brody Stoller as we talked about earlier in the broadcast one of the greatest bantamweight fighters Australia's ever produced and prior to that Brody had a, a crushing win via leg kicks over a Thai on Rebellion mm. and uh, that is that is a very rare feat you don't often see a Thai get stopped with leg kicks so that, that's testament to the power of Brody Stoller of course uh, Brody trained uh, by his wife Elise and uh, you know, they are the dream team those two small but powerful crew see the leg kicks featuring early here in this fight Brody obviously the shorter of the two but uh, by no means the less powerful as we've seen time and time again Brody certainly the, is a little the underdog a lot of people have asked about this matchup why you know why have I done it why has it worked the way it has and I just think certainly a man on the mission and uh, he's got a lot to prove and it's great having him great, great having him on Warriors way nice catch and, and uh, counter with the hands from Stalder, nice use of the push kick from Sinbi, chopping, pushing, maintaining distance, all with accuracy and power, nice Sinbi. We see there, nice rip to the body to finish. Stalder and Sinbi have to get underway here for round number two, five by three minute rounds. And don't forget our main event of the round evening two. coming up after this, Alexei the Great Petrullius taking on Indigo Boyd in another 5x3 full tie rules fight in our much anticipated main event. As we said before, Alex the Great coming off a couple of tough losses up against the rising star of Indigo Boyd. That'll be an absolute ripper. Nice, nice speedy push kick. Look at that chopping low kick from Stalder. Simbi unfazed by it, stalks forward. Just here, you can see the difference in the, the stance here from Simbi and Stalder. Oh, nice. Went to step out the side, chop the leg. Fast reaction time, fast reflex, reflexes from Stalder. Popping jab, popping jab, moving out of, of harm's way. Staying away from the power side. You'll notice that Brody's circling to his left. So he'll circle left or step left, throw right when Knight goes into southpaw stance. Simbi, of course, Knight nice Simbi, a switch hitter. So he's going from orthodox to southpaw. So he's, he's equally powerful, uh, powerful off both legs both legs and able to punch as powerfully with both hands. That's just a very dangerous combination, Stephen. Yeah, absolutely. We saw that also earlier. I think it was the Stroud and Burum fight in terms of that matchup. 
stylistically. And we all know how that ended. As Stalder goes to the, the body, a nice jumping knee there from Sinby. Of course, a river, uh, river and Joey. Joey, of course, the southpaw as well. So yep. we had to prepare for Joey's, you know, big, powerful left hand. So, uh, yeah, the, the orthodox versus southpaw challenges are, are always interesting. Of course, this one brought to, uh, to us all by X-Drive. If you're wondering what X-Drive is, it's a male, uh, predominantly a male supplement. Testosterone booster, ginseng, it's got it all. And uh, certainly, if you're, if you're doing manual labor, you've got a hard job or hard training, you can hit up the uh, an X-Drive tab, uh, it's whereby it, uh, it certainly gives you a little bit of pep in the step. I'm sure my wife will probably be buying me some She's of that. Do. <laughs> you're on the, the X-Drive IV. The IV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just hook it up. <laughs> As we go back to the action here, he's stalled it, just trying to pop away with that jab. Shots to the outside there is Sinby. Sinby just pretty much taking whatever Stalder has and just keeps stalking forward. And as we stated earlier, you know, the fighter that is more aggressive and, war uh, and a more of a walk forward fighter, landing shots is always the one that judges will favour. Again, Stalder just chopping low. Sinby going for the body, very methodical in his attacks. Still remaining calm though. Not rushed, just pacing himself nicely, looking looking to uh, to change the levels of attack and the angles of attack. No Simbi, Stalder backing up but throwing with uh, with good power when he goes forward, but he's just trying to get his range right. Doesn't want to stand in front of Simbi either. And that's the end of round number two. Very patient fight from both fighters as we just see. We take a look at some of the highlights. I just look, walking for that step through knee out of range with big powerful kick. Even though it's hitting the arms of Staller, you can bet that's going to be doing damage. And that the uh, the ties know whenever they're up against a good striker, they actually kick at the biceps and the triceps. They kick at the arms, damage the arms, take away your striking power. It's all part of the strategy. You can see the arms of Staller already marked up a little. He's uh, throwing some good shots, particularly to the body. Sinby just. Precision striking, nice chop to the outside there from Stalder. Take nothing away from the Aussie in the red, Brody Stalder. Win, lose or draw, he's, uh, he's a tough campaigner, a tough competitor. One of the most experienced Thai fighters in this country today. Rep Brody three. Stalder, you've got to have respect for this little man. Particularly big anyone, stature. Anyone with nearly 100 fights. You talked about it, no other sport that you, uh, combat sport, that you can notch those kinds of numbers up. I've been commentating Brody, that's how old I am. I've been commentating <laughs> Brody since he was almost an amateur coming through to, to the pro ranks. So I've seen him age and mature, and I've seen him have some epic battles, and I've never seen him take a backward step, Brody. From the Sunshine Coast, they breed him tough up there. So uh, he's uh, absolutely no exception. He's chopping away here at the legs of Simi. Nice catch. The tie aware. And thank our sponsors, Harley Heaven, Revolt Fight Gear, Cafe Oji, Block Constructions. Thank them for the support of Warriors Way 20 here at the Doncaster Shopping Town Hotel. Steve White and Mark the Hammer Castanini here with you ringside. Say uh, thanks to TKD Denim as well. So many great sponsors that make these shows possible. Indeed, uh, whether it's this promotion or any promotion, when you look around the canvas and you see those logos on the canvas, be, be uh, grateful for the sponsors because without them, absolutely do not have any sport whatsoever. Doesn't matter if it's fight, sport, footy, cricket, whatever it is. You know, the uh, the sports these days are made up of sponsorship and uh, and support from the corporate. So, greatly appreciated. Uh, Stalder and Sinby. Just being under instruction to uh, break there. Didn't hear the referee. There's we get going again here. Round number three, five by three full tie rules. And as we talked about, just one more fight left. Alexi Petrullius and Indigo Boyne in our main event after this one. And even though this show's not over, we're already working on the next one, Stephen. Thanks. Of course, Warriors Way. 21. Thanks. Happy 21 to us. 21st. 21st. Okay. That will be Saturday, April 14th at Doncaster. Don't be mistaken. It's what it's going to be, where it's going to be at, and uh, potentially looking at a big four-man event, 63 kilo weight cutoff, and I'm uh, looking to bring the best of the best. Of course, we'll roll out River Daz, and uh, potentially Lee Fook, Indigo Boyd, 
Maybe there's a spot remaining. So uh, a four-man and potentially a four-woman uh, if the interest is there. So uh, a couple of four-way tournaments, plus, of course, an absolute stack card. Potentially Abbas Ahmadi um, looking. And uh, when we speak about tough New Zealanders, Sam the Shank Hill yep. looking at bringing Sammy back. He's been on Warriors way before. Uh, with mixed fortunes but i just love his fight style he's one of the toughest fighters and uh you know he's fought all over the world china uh thailand he's fought everywhere sam hill so uh, sam versus abbas amadi from west side martial arts um it's going to be something special as well and uh, make sure you get your tickets to that one as this hammer said april 14th happy 21st hopefully there'll be no uh, embarrassing three. stories like <laughs> in 21st birthday <laughs> but uh Nice Simbi looking confident, looking pumped. And uh, Brody Stalder looking uh, a little bit battle worn. But uh, taking the big shots from Simbi Stalder and he's still there and he's still ready to punch on. Absolutely. Tough boy from the Sunshine Coast. Well, check him out on Facebook, of course. Myself, Mark the Hammer Castanier, also on Facebook. Warriors Way uh, for the upcoming announcements of the big card for April 14th. Yourself, Stephen, you're on Facebook too if you want to allow you to speak. Yeah, well, uh, I think I can't take any female requests. <laughs> yeah, the however, pri <laughs> the privacy settings on all the way, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have a look here. Simbi, just looking for just the experience. I mean, anyone who's got nearly 500 fights, it's, it's always going to be a tough ask. But Brody Stolver, as we talked about, has uh, shown absolutely. No backward steps or not a step uh, for any side but forward. Here again, round number four. And round number four, five by three full time rules. Uh, really, uh, when you're talking about, as you just stated, Stephen, that 500 fights, any fighter stepping in the ring and they go, your, your fighters had, your opponents had 500 fights and he's in shape. Yeah. There's, there's fighters that have had a lot of fights and they're out of shape, let's face yeah. it. Yeah. They wheel them out, you know, as, uh, as easy beats. Yeah. On some cards, sometimes, and, you know, they build them up and they go, is that this, is that that, and you look at them and you go, you know, really, is that 500 fights or 500 burgers? I'm not <laughs> yeah, sure what. Yeah, but yeah. but look at Nice Imbi, he's 500 fights and he's still on the money, you know, he's, yep. he's legit. So, uh, as you'd expect. Um, and brody has got to go, you know, Brody and Elise have done their homework. They know he's solid. They know it's a big task. They know it's an uphill battle. But they still take the fight. They still say yes. And that's just testament to the, to the big heart of this little guy, Brody Stolder. Absolutely. We are halfway through the fourth round here at Warriors Way 20 between Stolder and Nice Simi. Some great fights so far this evening. As I mentioned you saw that fight between Daz and Balon. Uh, Daniel Stroud and Joel Burham was another good one as well. And uh, we have that knockout earlier in the night. Highlight real Liam Martin and Michael Bakalja. Croatian sensation. But uh, another great night of fights here at the Doncaster Shopping Town Hotel. Brody Stolder and Nice Sinby. A bit of a slower pace vis-a-vis -vis some of the other fights we've seen, but uh, you have to appreciate the experience of both of these guys. Well, we said that with the five by threes, yeah. yeah. So we know we know the five the five rounders as 15 minutes of solid fighting. It's a, it's a long haul. Yeah. And of course, unlike MMA, they can't uh, can't uh, get on the ground and wrestle. And you know, not saying that there's no, it's not exhausting. But they when you're standing and you're, ha you're having to trade and you're having to keep your vertical base. Yep. Because you can't, you know, you can't sort of get on your back and, and posture up off your back or whatever it may be. Um, you've got to be standing there trading and cardio has got to be supreme. No guard pulling here no guard, tonight. No pulling guards and <laughs> taking a bit of a sit down. You've got to be in there trading and trading hard. Get a beat down put on you or else, Stephen. Yeah, that's what happens to me mostly <laughs> at Nexus BJJ on uh, Monday to Thursday. But <laughs> just say a shout out to my trainer, Murat Kar Karadon Isley, if he's watching. Boys up there in Coburg. At Simbi just pressing forward here. He's been working that outside thigh of Brody Stoller, and also you can see under the, on the left lats there, Brody's been chopping away at that all night. And Brody still standing right in front of here, nice Simbi. A big body kick, too. Not far away with that right hook with Stoller, and he connects oh, that time with a left. Clubbing left hook from Stoller, getting over the right shoulder of nice Simbi. And a good end of the round there for Brody Stolder. Now confident is the tie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look at him, just a little bit of, I'm happy to be here. Cobra Kai never die. Uh, it's a 
again another takedown attempt. But as I said, working that left five stall that he fakes the bottom and then goes high on that one. But as I said, Brody's been a gamer all fight. I think Brody's hit him with absolutely everything he's got, and it's, it's really a confidence thing. Yep. But I, I, I wouldn't like to see Brody stand in front. I'd still like him to get that mobility back, that side to side footwork. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, both partners, you know, the circling off that he had. Easy for me to say, harder for this young man and to final do round. Yep. when he's in there and he's uh, fought. You know, so many uh, hard minutes of combat sport. And we are in the fifth and final round. Final three minutes, full tie rules here at Warriors Way 20. Our co-main event at 57 kg. Stalled it chopping away there at the legs of Nice Sinby. And Ty just picking his spots here, but again, chopping away at Stolder. A big left hook again, Stolder just trying to get it over the guard. Sinby again, he's got his... So confident, he's cocky almost with that guard. His hands are down, but that's that is very prevalent in Thai style. They'll they'll pop the arms out, and they'll only engage into the clinch. If he's if he's uh, worried about Stalder coming in, he can control his range. He's got his palms forward to catch the elbows. So somewhat of a, a very traditional Thai guard, where Stalder's been more Western style with his boxing stance, tight guard, gloves up around the temple, making sure the jawline's not exposed. See uh, William Liu, fight photographer, Ooh. best fight photos in the business. WL Photography, check it out on uh, Facebook. You've got some absolute awesome shots on there from William. See him all at just about every event in uh, Victoria these days. Busy man. Certainly is an in demand fight <laughs> photographer, William. Simi steps up there with the elbow. You see, all, like, as you said, all, all fight hammer, very confident. He had a smile on his face from start to finish. He'll close his guard up as, he, as the distance as, as the distance gets closer, so does the guard to his head, Simbi. <laughs> and uh, a little bit of a, a laugh there from uh, Simbi. Not sure that was for. Someone calling out, someone calling out something. <laughs> He's uh, certainly present in the fight, but this is uh, taken in the atmosphere as well. This very experienced tie. Uh, for mine, probably one of the most experienced guys ever to be on the Warriors Way card, Nice Simbi. Absolutely. So we're very fortunate uh, to to uh, have him on the show, and a big thanks to Johnny Burke from Geelong for uh, for making it possible and contacting me and uh, getting him on the card. So if any trainers are out there watching this Warriors Way and you're keen to get on for April 14, just hit me up on the Warriors Way uh, page or uh, contact me directly. Mark the handle. Final 30 uh, seconds. Let me know what you got. Final 30 seconds of this fight. The Sinbi chops to the right bicep there of Stolder. You can see a little bit of a cut there under the left eye of Brody. Brody Stolder, yeah, slight, slight bleeding off his left eye. With perhaps the right elbow of Sinbi. Working that body kick all fight as Sinbi is. Stolder steps up for the elbow and uh, <laughs> another crowd acknowledgement from Simbi. We've got to have a little meter in the corner of the screen there <laughs> for this fight, but so confident is nice Simbi. Why wouldn't you be? To the judges' scorecard we go and a great fight from both of these gentlemen here at Warriors Way. Awesome show of respect and that's what Muay Thai is all about. Optimum, ultimate battle of Brody Stolder. Nothing but respect for all. We have gone to the judges' scorecards. Your three judges for the contest, 48-47, 48-47, 49-47, declaring your winner via unanimous points decision. Blue corner, nine, Sinbi! So a very elated, nice Sinbi. He takes this one over Brody Stoller here at Warriors Way 20 in our co-main event. And a great fight here between these two. Stay right ahead.